Hello again, Coney is here. Today we're flying from the Hearst Ranch Airport to Santa Maria. Santa Maria has been on my mind lately because of the fires we're having in California. Three years ago it got really bad and I had to go down to Santa Maria for a few days to catch some fresh air. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is set the target altitude, which I want to be 5,000. Um, it's a kind of a long flight. All right, so 5,000 feet, nav on, flight director comes on automatically. So we should be ready. Take off the parking brake. And we're off. Still getting used to the pedals, but this should be okay. So I'm going to climb, get some altitude, and then I will switch over to autopilot to handle navigation. Got a good speed going. Let's switch on autopilot. Oakland Center, car 183 is type Cessna Skyhawk, one mile southeast of Kilo Charlie Alpha Mike. Request flight following. Plane's just trying to get perfectly online on with that uh, navigation line. Squawk 4362, car 183. I'm going way too fast. I'm going to slow us down to a reasonable speed. Oakland Center, Java Air 15 is at flight level 335, descending 10,000 feet. Java Air 15, Oakland Center, continue as planned. And we're trying flight level control. Java Air 15, descend and maintain 10,000 feet. Navigation is still on. United 1174, descend and maintain 10,000 feet. Okay, and I don't want to go ahead and two, so I would rather climb more like maybe five. I don't know how these buttons do uh, accelerations. Okay, that's fine. There's 84. Give it some gas. The plane should take over. All right, so the autopilot's got us on track. It's got us climbing. Let's go outside and take a look. Beautiful day on the coast of Southern California. Look at the Pacific Ocean. Water is beautiful. Not sure exactly what cities these are down here. Skywest 5727, you are 11,000 feet above your assigned altitude. Descend and maintain 10,000 
down once we get over land again. I think if I look down now, it's just going to be, uh, oh, that's not too bad. The plane's got us going at the requested 84 or so, and we're still climbing up to 5,000. So I spent four or five days in Santa Maria getting some fresh air. I looked for a place that the smoke plumes weren't hitting, and that was the closest one I could find. But it was good. I actually uh, got my health back. I just wasn't feeling well at all. Just kind of general, generally feeling icky. And lately, the same thing. Yesterday, I actually had to take work off because I was not feeling well from the smoke. I should not have gone outside yesterday, that was my problem. Right, a little bit of a barometer adjustment there. Somewhere down here should be Pismo Beach. Don't know exactly where it is. When I had a big SUV, I actually went down there and drove out on the beach. That was a lot of fun. You kind of had to keep moving. If you stop, you run the risk of getting uh, stalled, stalled in the sand. Um, it was funny because you would see people out there with planks and trying to help people out who got stuck. So I just made sure to keep some kind of forward momentum going the whole time. Really nice to look out the window. I have a new graphics card arriving on Monday, so this ought to look a lot better. But the mobile graphics chip's doing pretty good, given what it's having to deal with. The game warns me that it doesn't meet minimum system requirements, but again, uh, it seems to work. I tweaked the graphics settings to get it to basically a good compromise of quality and frame rate. I'm overclocking about 50% or so. So we've got another 48 nautical miles to go. Autopilot is doing its thing. This is the time when a pilot could keep an eye on the throttle, but otherwise have lunch, read a book, um, look out the window. There's not much to look at this direction. Kind of the same thing this direction too, just a lot of mountains, no civilization. Kind of have to wonder what, what all this stuff is. Kind of a pretty shot. This might make it into the clips at the end. Looks like we're coming pretty close to our target, and so I've got to keep an eye on the throttle, drop it back once we're not climbing anymore. already got us in altitude hold mode as it is. You can see it leveling off. Generic eight pop equipment, please expedite your descent to 2,800 feet.
So now I'm in tr control of the speed from this point forward. But the plane will stay nice and stable, stay on track. One of the biggest challenges I run into is not paying attention to the need to modify the throttle. Um, it, it's required much more often than I thought. That's also a really nice shot. Going real fast, it's uh, slow down. Thanks to the co-pilot for handling all the tower traffic. So the barometer change, maybe, oh no, that was somewhere else. We could probably be going just a little faster. Not sure what it's going to be like flying into the clouds, but maybe I'll just be running above them the whole time. Kind of looks that way. Kind of nice if the Garmin system showed you the clouds. Maybe a future version of this will. Plank has two. G1000s. What I don't know is how to swap the displays between them, or if that's even possible. You would assume it is, but I need to fiddle around more with the controls, see if I can find menus that like, get you, give you access to that kind of stuff. It really depends on how accurately they've recreated these, or how dummied up the stuff is. Maybe they're fixed being these two different displays. Who knows? Seven decimal seven two five for call one eight three. Santa Barbara approach call one eight three five thousand feet. Santa Barbara Santa Barbara's Santa Barbara is one of my favorite places to visit. Land. It's very pretty, very Spanish looking. Oh wow! <laughs> my graphic card can't really do a lot with the clouds, but it's doing its best. It doesn't matter. Looks okay this way. I don't think we need objectives up here anymore. Maybe I'll go outside and play with the drone a little bit. Actually, I'm already outside, but let's bring up the drone. Let's fix it onto the airplane. Keyboard. This is a good way to get really beautiful photogenic shots. See it from pretty far away from home. That's a cool shot. Here, Doppler shifting a little bit as the gun moves around. All right, well, enough time to do So it does look like we escaped the clouds that are below us. No need to worry about not being able to see where we're going.
I just noticed these little nozzles. I assume those are de-icing, probably something like that. That would not surprise me. It's kind of fun to look around the plane. I haven't explored every aspect of the plane yet. I don't think you can go into the back. Oh wait, now how come? It felt like pressing the drone move buttons was changing the plane. It is, okay. I'll have to find out what that means. Remember not to use that as I'm flying the drone. Still holding altitude, still uh, a little fast, I can slow it down a little bit. What I was trying to do was go into the back seat. And I've been able to go kind of into the back of the cabin in an A320, but I don't know if that's really possible here. And when I did it, I did use the same buttons on the keyboard, so I'm surprised that that was causing the plane to move a little bit. I'm not sure if it was changing the trim, uh, maybe the, the letters or something, who knows. Somebody nearby? Okay, so we've gone over our first body of water just about, and then we'll have another one to go over, and then head to the airport. I can't really click on these and see what the identification is on the plane. I suppose I'd be able to see something. At night you can see them, see their navigation and strobe lights. But I don't see any anything straight ahead. My graphics card really isn't good for sightseeing. Handles flying the plane okay, but you know things just look very low res. The card that's coming though, that'll be nice because I'll be able to go places and it's going to look really, really nice. Be worthwhile to go just sightseeing, especially the handcrafted airports, handcrafted cities. This is going to be one of my longer flights. In the future, I do plan to do things like fly coast to coast or fly to Hawaii, fly to Japan, and sit through the whole long flight, probably record it. Probably going a little faster than seventy-five. 
Sometimes the game tells me to slow down. I'm going over 74 knots. I don't know what triggers that, because it's not, obviously not doing that now. Uh, it may be that when you're closer to the ground, you have to keep a little uh, airspeed. One of those things you'd learn if you go to a flight school, I suppose. This flight seems really long, but I actually already flew halfway here earlier. And then I was looking outside, something happened, and I got into a stall that I couldn't figure out how to get out, and so I just restarted. I had used the active pause, and then while paused, it started stalling, but the instruments didn't show any problems, so I didn't really know what to do. Once I figured out to unpause it, the plane uh, shot like 45 degrees up in the air, and then I, I said, and I, and I couldn't get control with the stick, so I said, screw it, I know it's restart. See so lingering thin clouds, those funny effects. See how we're doing overall. Yeah, so it's got a ways to go. Probably go a little faster. This graphic card is supposed to be equivalent to a GTX 1050. Um, it seems kind of underpowered though. Got it overclocked. Um, I don't think I'm at the maximum clock speed, although when I went higher it seemed to get unstable. I tried overclocking the memory and it seems to stay stuck at 3.5 gigs, so that's fine. We may be flying into some clouds. Can't really tell anything here. I feel like I need to increase the tension on my throttle control to really use. I looked online, the best suggestion was to put some very thick grease in there. Um, so I may see what I can do about that. Especially the last 10% of the travel, it just wants to kind of flop forward and go to 100%. Can't really do any fine control at that point.
It's funny how the altitude ticker tape makes it look like we're at 4,900 only because it's not not rotating the 49W50. It should probably start rotating that along with the zeros uh, like an old analog digital clock would do. It just flips from 49 to 50. That's confusing sometimes, especially with the speed, because it can look like you're going 70 when you're actually going 80, for instance. That's uh, just a barometer in case. Nope. Not really much of a change there. I'd like to take a look at recent ATC traffic. Well, that was for us. Pretty close to the clouds, but we should be fine. I don't think there's going to be any problem. We're going to get about, I don't know, 11 or 12 nautical miles from the airport. The landing pattern uh, HUD stuff will show up. So that won't be very long. See the coastline there emerging from the clouds. That incorrect heading warning having you press D, I believe that's a gyroscope calibration. I've never seen it really affect anything. Now, if the airport's actually fog in, we not, might not be able to land. I don't get IFR clearance. Um, it'd be nice to get a weather report. I guess as a pilot, I'd probably have an iPad next to me and I could look stuff like that up. Obviously, I could do that here, but I'm not going to bother with that. Um, if we can't land there are options, I can divert to a different airport or I can tell it to ignore the weather, but I'm trying to keep things real. Anyway, it's definitely time to start dropping altitude because we're getting very close to the airport, so we are going to Flight level control again, 4,400. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to go down to. That's one of the problems using the mouse wheel. Okay, so I'm going to go down to, let's say, 20. Oops. 2,500. There it is. Okay. Um, current speed is fine, so all I have to do is turn it on. Let off the gas, and it should take care of it. I might even want to increase that speed a little bit more. Let's see, what do I have it at? Oops. 81, yeah, I think 84 will be fine. It might just be fog. It's kind of clearing as we go through it, so maybe there's not a problem. Um, I'd expect the tower to tell us if we weren't able to land, and they haven't done that. A lot of uh, 
other players out there. Um, it'd be fun to fly sometime with a group of folks. I've never done that. I think I'm going to need to descend a little faster. Um, we're pretty close to the airport. I probably should have started descending sooner. So let's set this up to 88. Looking at the vertical airspeed and the distance from where the landing pattern ought to be, I don't think that's enough. I might want to dial it up just a little bit more. Try to get us down quicker. Let's go to 92. 93 is fine. Okay, so I feel like we're dropping at a good rate now. I have not seen the pattern emerge yet, but it should. It should soon. Santa Maria Tower Ca 183 is 11 one miles northwest with Quebec to okay, live. Just looking for mountains, don't see any mountains. Santa Maria Tower. Fly straight in runway 12. Altimeter 29er decimal 87 wind calm. Uh, barometer chain. Make sure I guess once we get there. One two, call one eight three. There it is, okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take over from autopilot and get to set plane landed. Landing lights are on. It's nice to get a little bit of altitude, maybe burn off some speed to get into that pattern. Crosswind. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know why the trim is going to minus 100. That's very strange. Weird things happen sometimes, I don't know, maybe game glitches or who knows, it's too fast and too slow. <laughs> uh, yeah, no idea why, I mean I guess maybe I didn't disengage the autopilot, maybe that's the problem. Trying to compensate for me. I thought I was going crazy. Right. I think we're okay. Burn off some of this excess speed. It's going to want us to go probably below 60. And it flaps down. Okay, maybe a little bit more gas. We have plenty of time to slow down. I'm not going to move back into the press right now. I just want to get stable, get into the pattern. I'd really like a yoke instead of a stick. I'm going to invest in one at some point. Maybe even one that's got a bunch of extra buttons and things. It would be nice to be able to push some buttons rather than use the mouse clicks on some certain things. For example, autopilot. Okay, so let's slow down. Let's get closer to that target speed of like 59 or something, whatever it wants us to do. I can burn off some of the speed by climbing. Of course, we're going to have to get it So, 
Yeah, we'll just keep dealing with a little bit of excess speed and stay on track. It's a little scary not being able to see, but I'm not worried because it looks like it's just fog and it looks like once you're close to things, they're easy enough to see. Drop a little bit more speed, try to get into that 40 to 60 range, 45 to 60 range. Maybe. If I could keep this the whole way down, we'd be perfect. A little bit of rudder, I think. Our speed is dropping a little bit too much. I could probably dip to fix that. Call 183, clear to land runway 12. Wind calm. Clear to land runway 12, call 183. Okay, now we're going a little too fast, so let me let's put some of that off. Not familiar with the aerodynamics of ground, you know, air and the ground interacting, but it does seem like the wind patterns change as soon as you start getting close to the ground. Sometimes when you're doing this, it just feels like you're going really, really slow, although you're going at freeway speeds or something. But it feels slow. Okay, we get rid of that speed. We do a little climbing, not too much climbing. So landing is a lot of throttle adjustments all the way down. I think as I get more experience that'll get easier, but I'm finding just really having to babysit the throttle the whole way down. Maybe that's normal, but I think it'll get easier with some more practice. So we're maintaining that good speed, we're dropping a little bit, a little bit more gas. Don't want to go below that white line, which is the stall speed with the flaps down. So I think by the time we get to the runway, we'll actually be able to see it. Let's hope. I feel like I'm dropping a little bit. I think I should get just a bit more gap. altitude. Ahead of me. I think as a practice pilot, I could probably hold a specific speed. I'm a long way from being able to do that. I do see the runway lights, so that's good. Not too fast. to slow it down. To give it a little bit of gas so you don't stall, but not too much, you're going too fast. Um, landing is like a controlled stall, and so you're trying to stall, but not, not too soon. You're going to have to give it gas to go over these trees. I don't think that's going to be enough. I see the runway. It's a little further down, so I'm just going to a little bit more gas. Wind seems very calm down here, which is nice. 
very happy with my speed. And so now we're going to just float in and just stay afloat as long as we can before applying the brakes. Just hold off and hold off and hold off and hold off and hold off. And here we are. What's nice about doing it that way is you don't bounce when you hit. And I had the brakes held, so you know, they kicked in as soon as I hit the ground. It just makes it a little easier. It gets a little hairy when you're actually bouncing on the ground during the landing. I don't think you're supposed to bounce. I think that's considered you know, an error. Um, I watched a pilot flying simulator, and he I learned it from him. He had something like 20,000 hours of flying experience in the military and commercial. As he was landing, was just telling himself, hold off, hold off, hold off, hold off, and had this beautiful soft landing. So I learned that from him, we're going way too fast here on the runway. Um, but as you saw, it worked really well. We didn't bounce. We just came to a nice, nice smooth stop. Perfect stall, stalled landing. Again, it's a little fast for taxiing. I should probably, I guess maybe that's only at night when you need to turn the taxi lights on. Call 183, exit runway when able. All right, so we're in Santa Maria. It's kind of a nice little town. It seemed a little too monochromatic, you know what I mean? But uh, people were nice. I really use just the right brake to slow down and turn. One of my favorite little things to do. Call oh, right. three, call Flash into the back up. One, two, one I always forget to do that. Going to one, two, one decimal At some point nine, I will turn off all those assists, but I'm, I'm learning, so now is the time for them. Yeah, I'm going too fast. They really seem to have the contours of the road and everything down. I guess the satellite, you know, laser scanning is able to figure that kind of stuff out. Very interesting. Yeah, I know. Too fast. I'll slow down. I assume these lights in real life are made out of rubber and they won't hurt anything if they get run over. Ah, here we go. Okay. I see where we're headed. Yeah, there's a car in the way, but that's fine. We'll just go around or they'll move or something. I don't have a reception committee, but I do have a place to, uh, to park, so that's nice. Engage the parking brake. Shut off the engine. And turn off the plane. And that's it.